1% only have been vaccinated, and we set a target for low-income countries as well as the rest of 70%. And I think there is a complacency that means we are sleepwalking into the next variant. North Korea has officially acknowledged its first case of COVID. State media said the country's leader, Kim Jong-un, had chaired a meeting to discuss what it described as a grave national emergency. Lockdowns have been ordered across the country. Royal Mail has announced plans to build a fleet of 500 drones to help deliver posts to remote communities. The service says unmanned aircraft will provide a faster and more reliable service than the ferries and vans currently used to transport letters and parcels between the UK's islands. More details from our technology reporter Chris Valance. Communities in Shetland, Orkney, the Hebrides and the Isles of Scilly could be the first to get their mail regularly carried by drone. Deliveries to the islands have already been trialled. Now the Royal Mail says it hopes to have drones flying 50 routes serving Britain's remote communities within three years. The plans will also be subject to approval from the Civil Aviation Authority, something it says is at a very early stage. A passenger in Florida with no flying experience has safely landed the light aircraft in which he was travelling after the pilot fell ill. The man radioed air traffic controllers to tell them he had a serious situation before he was successfully talked to the ground by control tower staff. Robert Morgan was one of the air traffic controllers. He was around 3,000 feet and I said what we're going to do is bring it to Palm Beach, big runway, and it'll be a lot easier for you. And he's like, good idea. So uh I was able to basically just get him to descend a few hundred feet for every mile as he got closer into the airport. The weather, a dry and bright start for most, but cloud will build in from the west, bringing some rain to Scotland and other parts of the north. Dry in the south with variable cloud. Top temperatures of 18 Celsius in London, 16 in Cardiff, 14 in Belfast and 13 in Edinburgh. That's the BBC News at exactly five past seven. That is an incredible Isn't story. It? Unbelievable. And reminding Nick and I next door of the great film Airplane. Uh, can anybody land this plane? Shirley, you can't be serious. I am serious. And stop calling me Shirley. <laughs> On the BBC Sounds app, on your smart speaker, and on 88 to 91 FM. Rise and shine! BBC Radio 2. So good. What an amazing story. Could you do that? If asked, could you be calm enough to land a plane? I'm not sure I could. It's International Nurses Day today, gang, because it's Florence Nightingale's birthday. If you would like to treat a nurse to a shout out, and they deserve some treats, then text 88 291 or you can WhatsApp us 08000 288 291. It's the second Eurovision semi final tonight. Scott Mills and Rylan we live from Turin on BBC Three tonight at 8. Uh, Chris Rock starts the UK leg of his Ego Death World Tour at the Royal Albert Hall in London. And Sarah Cox's book, Throne, is out today. Clever girl. About four women who meet at a local pottery class and end up with an unbreakable friendship. Clever girl. Well done. She's brilliant, isn't she? Mini Driver's book's out today. And Angela Scanlon's. She's on the show later on. Like the legend of the phoenix.